Hello everyone, Pete here, and Quick Resume is epic on the Xbox and RNG Ally, where we can quickly suspend one game to free up precious resources, then switch over to Resume mid level into another game within a matter of seconds. Let's go through how to get it, the best settings and how to configure it, how it works in practice, and also the top three tips for it. All of this of course works not just for the Ally, but for all PC gaming handles like the Legion Go as well. So let's start by installing Quick Resume. First of all, let's make sure that we're in the Xbox full screen experience. I'm doing this on my Xbox Ally X, but of course this will work as I say on any PC gaming handheld that has the Xbox full screen experience. Let's press our Xbox or Army Crate button and let's head over to the end of our settings where the widget store is. Click on the grey widget store button, then scroll down quite a bit to get to a completely free widget called Suspended N Time and click on it. Here it gives us some info and more details on it that you may want to read more in depth, including the fact that it's super small coming in at just 33 megabytes. Installation only took just a few seconds with it only being so tiny in size. That's what she said. No time. But she did. No time. When it's finished installing, let's head back across the tabs right to the far end of the widget section again and load up the suspended in time widget. The first setting is called suspend before sleep. So if we want this widget to suspend everything for us just before we put our ally to sleep and toggle this to on, I think that this is kind of neat. So I'm going to turn this to on. Next is suspend on focus change. And so anything that's not in focus immediately gets suspended. For me, it seems pretty buggy at the moment and things kept hanging and crashing. So I'm going to leave this to off. Next, we can choose what the power button will do. Many of you super smart viewers like Spider Cash 208 recommend hibernate over sleep on our ally. So I'm going to set this to hibernate. Then we have an enhanced sleep option that optimizes modern sleep power for handhelds. This is obviously a good thing. So I'm going to toggle this to on. And our final option is to resleep our device automatically. So if a button other than the power button gets hit, like when it's in a case, for example, it will send the ally back to sleep. This seems good, so I'm going to toggle this to on. So just double check our settings and feel free to experiment with these here and let us know which settings that you find the best below in the comments. So now we're all set up, let's see Quick Resume in action. A game that is perfect for this is the awesome card game Balatro, as it's so great to dip in and out of runs using Quick Resume, so let's load it up. So we're right here in the middle of our run and these can go on for quite a bit. So say that we need a break. So we just hit our Xbox or Armory Crate button, head all the way over to our new suspended in time widget button, select the game that we want to suspend and simply hit the A button. And look, we can now see that our game is fully suspended as when we tap the screen to go back into the game, the controls do not work as it is completely suspended, freeing up its valuable resources ready for another game, so ace. So let's just do that. Let's hold down the Xbox button to open the app switcher. I'm going to head over to Army Crate as I much prefer this as a game launch over the Xbox app. And I'm going to select one of the very best games of 2025 in Hollow Knight Silk Song. So when we launch a game normally, we have to click close all running programs. But now that we have quick resume and our other game is suspended, we can now select launch the next program anyway option. Then once we've had a good game in session here, or in the case of Silk Song, become tired of getting whooped by the tricky bosses, we can just hit our Xbox or Army Crate button. Head all the way across to our suspended in time widget icon, select Silt Song and either press the A button or this big grey suspend button to then suspend the game. This is so ace. Then let's go back to our run in Balatro by selecting the game and pressing the A button to change it from suspended to now the green running icon. Now when we tap the screen to exit out, Silt Song is completely suspended mid game. Simply swipe up to enter our incredible app switcher. Head on over to our just resumed Balatro and we can now continue our run where we left off all within a matter of seconds. Guys, this is so epic. You know what? Let's flip back to Silk Song by hitting our Xbox button, heading across to the suspended in time icon, press the A button or big suspend button yet again so it's suspended. Select Silk Song and press the A button or the big suspend button to activate it. I'm going to swipe up to enter our app switcher to head back into Silk Song and yep, back in the game for more punishment. Nice. So let's now go through the top three tips when using quick resume. Tip number one is do not, I repeat, do not use this quick resume feature with online or competitive games like COD or Battlefield 6, as their anti-cheat systems may flag it and you may get banned. So yep, just stick to single play or emulation, etc. when using this. Tip two is to remember that when a game is suspended like Balacho is right here, that when we swipe up into the app switcher to try to enter it, we cannot enter it at all, due to it obviously being completely suspended, which is normal. And this is why we need to resume it first before heading back into it. And tip three is that I found that two games is the optimal to use this quick resume feature with. You know, we can't go crazy with this and do like five games currently, as the more games that we switch between, then the more our ally may struggle. 
particularly with this brilliant suspended in time widget being a work in progress. But listen, I would love you all to experiment with this and let us know your findings below in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this ace new quick resume feature below too. For me, it's super impressive that an uber talented one man developer called Basem Momonit has been able to pull this off. So come on, Microsoft, pull your finger out and give us true native quick resume similar to the Xbox Series S and X consoles and do it ASAP so that we don't have to use workarounds like this. Huge thanks to our great viewer, Finn Raziel, for mentioning in a recent comment how quick resume would improve the Xbox full screen experience that inspired me to make this video. And also to the great ROG LLF website for their recent article on this quick resume, which I'll link to below. And as I thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. There are two places that we need to go often, the place that heals us and the place that inspires us. It's so easy to get burnt out and super stressed in this crazy world. So let's find out where that place is, whether it's like a park bench, our favorite coffee shop or a quiet room in our house to recharge our emotional and mental energy. So stay encouraged today guys. And as an extra bonus treat for soon, right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. And if you want to know the 11 things that I love and also the 11 aspects that I'm not quite so keen on about the Xbox Ally X, then check out my two month review video right here. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.